Hey, what is up people, this is Heldenbreak again, and today we're recording part 14. And this is probably gonna be one of the few... Well, it's probably gonna be like either the second last or the last part, because... Sadly enough, guys, we only got one character left, and it's gonna be Dave. And as you see, we're gonna have both stage. If you play the Nintendo 64 version, I do believe you get a special character for that. On PS2, I think you need to input a code or something. Probably not gonna do that, it's only an alien thingy weird. <laughs> So that really doesn't really matter anyways. So, without further ado, let's start the beginning of the end. Let's go for Dave. Dave, as you may see in the previous part, is kind of annoying because of his special. Yep. But when it comes to actually stats, he's pretty average, except he got a little bit more resilience than usual. I mean, not usual, I mean uh, than average. A bit slower too. I don't know. But he's a very good character and his special is really annoying. <laughs> so I'm actually curious to actually play with him. He used to be one of my favorite characters back in the day. He uh, had the same title as Molo. But it's been such such a long time since I actually played this game for uh, seriously. So let's see. He got a beeswax. I always consider Dave and Beeswax pretty much rivals. N not because the Nursely uh, got any uh, kind of rivalry in the actual story, just because. Those two are, uh, uh, well, they're very similar. They're both really kind of sturdy, and they're both got similar special of seeking swarms. So that's why I always consider those two pretty much rivals because of that. I don't know if it makes sense to you, but I, it makes sense to me. And Dave is an hippie. Dave is an hippie. Uh, he's on a great yard. Let's hope it's not the anger. Last time, guys, I had I failed the, the angers, and uh, it's probably gonna be angers because they're like it's all never the same objective. But the angers, jeez, ah, when I was trying to actually do it uh, off screen so I can actually like get Dave to actually do this part, uh, well, the angers were kind of a bitch because every time I would actually try to um, just roam around the arena trying to look for a power up, computers would just try to shoot at me and. Without trying, really, they would actually attack the anger all the time. Because these are a fair, fairly huge target, and they're also not very sturdy. Which doesn't make a good combination for something you need to protect. Come on. Man, my missiles here are not even doing, are doing nothing. Pretty much getting stuck in the wall. So very fun. Heh, <laughs> 20 rockets. I'm gonna have fun with that. Rockets are my favorite thing ever. Just because they hurt. Come on, lock on this one. If you ever played Twisted Metal, it's also happened in, in that game. One of my favorite was the power missile. Here, pretty much the same thing as rocket. No lock, just plain straight thing that, if plain straight shot, it just blasts the crap out of the people. And I guess I always had uh, some uh, something for like. Very powerful weapons are hard to aim. Can I? Ah, too late. I was trying to get a total on that one. I don't know why. <laughs> it's just fun to troll people. In the second game, if you troll somebody, you get a salvage point. So that's when you use to upgrade your car and get like second version of your car. So it, it actually matters to actually troll people. This game, it's pretty pointless. I guess just for style. Nothing bad about having style, but you know, just your style. Oh, by the way, a um, little funny thing like that. I was thinking about it, and I will actually do a bonus video for this one. I will actually do probably two match on the two maps we unlock after uh, I'm done recording the main story. Uh, I'm gonna label it part 16, but it's gonna be bo a written bonus after it, so um, it's gonna be easy to find. Pretty easy to find, and as usual, I'm gonna put it in the, pl in the playlist if you guys are actually interested in uh, watching the entire thing you know, all in one go. I'm one of those guys who usually uh, watch everything in one go, so uh, because I like doing that, I'm gonna allow you guys to do the same thing. <laughs> oh, okay. That was weird. Not gonna lie, that was weird. Whammy. Boom. As you've seen, Sidburn is not very resilient. 
but he's fast as crap, so uh, yeah. Pretty much uh, the thing about games in general, like even not even car shooter, but just games in general. Usually fast characters are usually weak. The only exception I've seen so far was Def Jam, an old uh, fighter game on uh, on uh, GameCube, PS2, and X in the first Xbox. In that game, actually, the martial art people were actually the sturdiest guy. It does make sense in real life because there is actually uh, martial arts that are focused around uh, absorbing pain in general. But it was one of the um, few aversions to, to the fiction rule where usually fast means weak in terms of resilience. Just a little mention like that. This guy is <laughs> not fast enough for the crater maker. Also, if you finish. <laughs> You always shoot yourself when you finish a match. Always. Because, <laughs> I guess, I don't know if they, probably it's just like the way you program the entire radar to swap for the next target. I guess just just mean that if nobody's there, you are the next target, so. So I'm guessing it's that. Oh, and by the way, it goes down. <laughs> it's probably on a train station. Nope. Idiot village. It's not gonna be fun. Not gonna be fun. Why? Because you guessed it. Tents are not that what you would what one would call sturdy. Oh no, you're not stalling my engine. Last time you did that, it took me forever to get back on my car. I wanna show a special. Because if I don't show Dave's special, I'm gonna be pretty pretty sad. Seeing how uh, how much damage that thing did to me. One more, just so I can get more, a bit more firepower. Come on, give it to me. I don't know if the train got a, any uh, kind of limit, actually, how much special I can give it to you, but uh, I'm gonna be used. Oh yeah, the craze do fall. If I get, can only get four out of this, but still, I'm gonna be used. Why? Because I love abusing. Using of good firepower, that is. Come on. Eh, how do you like that, Bizwax? You're the one getting pummeled by this. Well, you were kind of the guy getting pummeled by that when I was playing you, but hey. Please, this time, this you the punishment rather than taking it. <laughs> See how annoying this guy, this special is? Unlike Bizwax Swarm, the aliens are actually fast. I don't... And they do decent damage. That's, that's just... See, they're just... Aw, oh, man, I can't get over it. How annoying this special is. Even when you're not even when you're not the one receiving it, you just know you're doing something annoying to these guys and other computers and don't feel anything, but yeah. You get what I mean. And before actually calling a special, I'm actually gonna do a little beachy thing, getting damage boost before doing that and popping some crater maker. And totally missing. And calling another one, you know it's probably gonna miss if the first one missed. Ugh. Come on. This is just gonna run like a coward, getting some more crates and just running around. Ten of these! Wow. I feel like the guy who's gonna spawn is just gonna get hammered by UFOs. Uh. I think. Do you have a shield? I know he, does, he doesn't. I thought he had a shield for once. That's this little thing with uh, Dave's special. Oh, it's pretty much. It doesn't do that much damage on fast cars, you see. And you, you see it right now, but um, fun one thing about uh, about Dave special in general is that Dave, well, it does green flash whenever you hit somebody with it. Therefore, you can easily mistake a special for a um, for a uh, an actual uh, uh, shield. And what the heck? <laughs> uh, looks like someone's on the dance floor. Gotta be, we gotta be careful with that guy because he spawned with cluster missile because he's a boss, obviously. And those cluster hurt as crap, so as long as you keep moving when you hear that, you're fine. No. Come on. Ah. Uh. It's the it's the little thing that makes this game good. 
in my opinion. I mean, just the fact that you need to like aim sideways because your rocket plays on the side, that's one thing I always like about this game. The fact that she plays weapon on your car, you just don't like spawn a gun from, I don't know, ass space? <laughs> ass space. Uh, I think that's a T-Troll thing, isn't it? Or no, it's Amor space. I don't know. Still. Something. Come on, UFOs, not adding the right person, you know? Come on, Loki. Just give already. You almost did. So am I, but, you know, I'm a player character, so it doesn't matter. And wow, we actually did this this thing in the entire episode. I guess I was supposed to do 16 part of this, but I guess I'm going to do 15, because the next one is going to be the bonus episode. <laughs> I'm going to be sure, hey, if you're wondering... I'm gonna be showcasing both map and also I have to look up on the internet to actually get the code for the um, to play all the outros in the same in one uh, in one uh, sitting. So yeah, let's watch the end. One word for this one, Dave. So anyway, guys, that was pretty much. Let me say to you, that was pretty much the last episode of this Let's Play. So now you do get it. I didn't remember that. I thought you had to put a code on PS2. Oh well, I guess I'm gonna have to show this in the bonus episode too. There's actually a campaign for this one. Should I do it? I I don't know. It was was I the camp a campaign for this one? Hold on. Let me j before ending this. Let me just check real quick. Because I'm actually pretty curious. I don't remember having a campaign for this one. Yeah, there's no no campaign on this one. No campaign for this guy. So, just might as well just show it to you real quick. Not gonna go into detail because I don't really have much time. So, But yeah, that's the two other base we got. Two other stage. But yeah, that's the... Hold on. That's the guy. He's an alien. He's extremely fast. Pretty sturdy. Special... Blast the crap out of him, of everything, but it's extremely uncomfortable and it's really hard to hit with. Because of the fact it's flying and everybody's on the ground. Well, it's not really flying, but just hovering. Anyhow, guys, that was Hail to Break here. A really big thanks to everybody who watched these videos so far. I'm really glad for all of you using crap. And stay tuned, because there's going to be a bonus episode coming around seeing, uh, showing the rest of the thing we unlock. But for those who are not going to watch that, well, it's Hail to Break here. Signing off for the last time in this Let's Play. See ya guys.